You know what's a lot not fake or gay? What? What's that? The folks who make NSFW possible. Oh, yeah. Talking about their sponsors. All right. Hold on, everybody. Old exit stage left jury's here. Let me <laughs> shuffle on off. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Get out of here. You, get, you know you're not allowed. I uh, really like this ad dragon person. Okay, She's well, so dude, nice. dude, he, he could, uh, Justin could still hear you, and it's a he, I believe. Oh. Uh, this is our first time ever with this sponsor. Do you know who they are? I'm going to see if the chat room could guess. Can you guys guess who our second sponsor is? It's a new one. It's the first time ever. Pokeroo. Nope. That's not what? Oh, Jeff N has it talking about our new best friends at Man Packs. Bonnie, do you know what a Man Pack is? <clears throat> <laughs> How would you like it if you could get Man Packs just just shoved right at you like once a month? I think you need to stay on topic. Where's no, our I'm, ad dragon? I'm just saying, I'm just saying like <laughs> once a month. Ding dong, what's up? Man packing time. Oh my. <laughs> hey there, hold on there, Huckleberry Finn. <laughs> Whoa. You can't just go riding up the dirty Mississippi with N word Jim. You gotta haul that one back there, honey child, and give this company to read it deserves. What Clean you, your mouth out. I, I I thought I was like making it interesting, you know, make it kind of saucy, like you know, maybe I was talking about male genitalia or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, now, I know that it's very, 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 very enticing to dirty your mouth up with all sorts of silly profanity. But you are better than that, Brian Brushwood. No. You are a leader and an example to not only all the children of the internet, but the three you have under your roof. But they have products that are called, like, fresh balls. It's, it's literally, it's literally so... Break that one down. Go ahead and break that down. What's fresh? Define fresh. <laughs> well, fre fresh is, is, I mean, I'm not saying like it's dope. Give I'm me saying, the definition. Don't make me call Muriel and Webster. Fre fresh means it like smells nice and it's clean. Okay. And now define a ball. And I <laughs> certainly suggest you keep your P's and Q's on speed dial. Okay. I'm just saying when it's, in this case, they, when they say balls, they're meaning colloquially you're a product for uh, washing your genitals and having them be very fresh. Now, that is something you could present to a science class and get a blue ribbon. See? That's okay. See, so they're, they're a little saucy. I mean, the whole idea with man packs is that dudes are real busy. They don't like going and buying underwear for themselves and socks and shaving materials. So they can take care of all this at man packs. You subscribe. They send it to you automatically. You can adjust your subscription on the fly. They got all kinds of different products. They got originals. If, you, if you're a fan of like, if you got the replaceable razor type of razors, you can get razors shipped to you. Or if you want like uh, the disposable type, they got the, you know, all the Gillette and Schick and all those brands on there. I'll tell you what, I was looking at it just a, uh, earlier and I'm like, you know what it is? Man pack is like a mom who actually understands you because she takes care of the business and the crap you don't want to do, but she knows what you like. Well, now I'll tell you what, honey child, you can go ahead and get your man packs. If you go to manpacks.com slash twit. Now, Call me a half F fox in a forest fire, because this deal is hot, y'all. We get uh, an exclusive offer for Twit listeners. 10% off your first order for $30 or more, or buy a $50 gift card for $40. Go to manpacks.com slash twit and get started today. We thank Manpax for your support of the NSFW show. Hoo-wee! I got my knickers in a twist, and they're fresh. Thanks to Man Packs. <laughs> All right, well, go go salt your knickers. Well, now, Brian, listen. What? Let, me, let me tell you what, because I, I feel uh, like you have done a fantastic job on this show. I've been sitting here watching, and uh, in, in my brief time with the NSFW show, I have been consistently impressed by your skills. I think that you are a very talented young man. Well, it's very that's very nice of you to say, Ad Dragon. I would uh, I I didn't expect that. You know, it's like you're here to offer us guidance and keep us on message for our fine sponsors who keep the show afloat. But uh, like, uh, you don't have like an agenda. It's just weird that you're suddenly complimenting me. Well, now, Brian, I have always complimented you because I do believe you are the heart and soul of this show. But I do have a little something I would like to say to your co-host. Okay, well, uh, you know what? You you know, Look, we're still in the middle of the ad read. You know that we can't have Justin on. There was trouble with that before. If you want, relay it to me, and I'll, I'll pass it on to him. 
I will just let him know that if he wants to run his mouth like he's some sort of big mouth bass off the side of a fishing trawler, that he can get his game checked and rechecked at Sci-Fi So Wasted. I'm booking my ticket right now, honey child. See, I never, I'm coming on down to Austin. See, I'll tell you what, man. I thought you were better than this kind of petty thing. But now, now that I'm hearing this, I just get the impression that any minute now, the uh, the your Twitter account that I'm sure was generated instantly the moment you showed up is going to start smack talking at Justin Robert Young. And I feel like the two of you are just going to go back. What, what uh, wait, a chat room? How many guys follow the Ad Dragon? Because I don't know what your what their Twitters is. <laughs> Well, now, listen, listen, I I have not made my foray uh, onto the Twitter just yet. I'm sure it is forthcoming immediately. (laughs) However, I'll just say that sometimes, Brian, no matter how much you can keep your professionalism and manners, there are certain things that cannot be abided in a civilized society. Oh, so so you're just saying it's time to bring it down. You you are here to take out the garbage. You're here to do two things. Read ads effectively to g- provide good benefit value to our sponsors and kick ass. And you're all out of good ads to read. Ooh, ad dragon. <laughs> Yeah, look. See you next week, Brian. <laughs> All right, take care, Ed Dragon. Bye, Bonnie. Oh, dude, yeah, Bonnie ran off to go do a feeding right now, so I guess it's just me. Hopefully, uh, let me see. I don't know if Justin ran off to go take a bathroom break or what. Uh, hey, buddy, you there, Justin? What, dude? Don't drink. Don't don't. You can't drink this away. You can't drink your Ad Dragon away. Every so often. Every so often. Every so often, somebody comes along and fills in for someone else, and it's not the end of the world. Just take it easy, man. All right, listen. Everything that had to be said was said. Austin, Texas, March 9th. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see who the best ad reader in this (laughs) NSFW community is. And if I see anybody, anybody... (laughs) <laughs> Who thinks that the Ad Dragon is better at reading goddamn ads than me than I am telling you what, Brian Brushwood? March 9th, Austin, <laughs> Texas, the Eastern. You think you can come on to my podcast, Ad Dragon, that you can tear what I built down? Woo! I'll tell you to what. beat the man, Ad Dragon, you got to beat the man. I'll tell you what, Woo! man. Uh, you know who would agree with you? I think... <clears throat> I didn't realize this at the time, but we just did an ad read for Man Packs. If you go to manpacks.com slash twit, you know what it says at the top? It says, more time to slay dragons. So maybe maybe they're not a oh. fan oh. of Ad Dragons reads either. Just say it. <laughs> We're going to see. We're going to see. Pierce, 1776. We'll Eastern, commence again. Austin, Texas. <laughs> 